Well, what's up, friends? Mark Holmes here, of course, with... I, I should start calling him missing in action because I, I, I hardly ever see him anymore. You see me in the workshop there crying, my eyes out, working by myself and things. You know, you see me on some, some Friday nights and stuff with nobody there to help out and things. I, I mean, damn. I mean, damn. I don't, damn, I don't know what's going on. And then he, he's always out doing deliveries. I, I thought this morning I was going to go down and see my cousin Daniel uh, to try and get the sink put together. Um, he, he's a Washington fan, and he needs to drink. Now, he, he's not a drinker, but the Washington football team has got him, so he needs to drink. So he's like, Mark, I need a sink in my bar. Um, thank, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. All right, so um, interesting. I said yesterday, because we had brought Brett Maher in for a tryout, is you never want to burn bridges because, you know, you might have to walk through the walk of shame and come back to town and stuff. And, you know, it's funny because when Sam Darnold, the first three weeks of the season, when Carolina was 3-0, people were saying, oh, Sam Darnold, it was just him being with the Jets. He's actually a decent quarterback. Since that time, Sam Darnold has left a lot to be desired and now has a fractured shoulder and he's out for like the next four weeks. And they basically don't have a quarterback. Interesting thing here is uh, Sam Darnold's not the answer for him. Sam Darnold, they picked up his fifth year option. Ouch. So next year, they still owe him $20 million or they'll take a big cap hit to get rid of him. That sucks. So, what you what what you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do? What you gonna do if you're Carolina right now? You don't have a quarterback. Well, I guess Cam Newton didn't burn any bridges there because Cam Newton is talking with the Panthers about playing for him. So what comes around goes around, which is kind of interesting. The thing with Cam Newton is to me. Um, I look around the NFL and see some of the quarterback play, and I know there's not 32 quarterbacks that are better than Cam Newton. Now, let's, let's be clear now. Cam Newton is not the MVP Cam Newton of 2015. He's not that guy. But I got to tell you, he's a lot better than some of the people that are out there. And surprised that his stance on COVID ended up getting him out of New England. Now, New England's case... You know, as you look at what they've got with Mac Jones, who is, look, he's got a target on his back. Defensive ends are like, yeah, we're coming for that guy. Um, after that Chiefs, did you see the Chiefs, what he did? He literally grabbed, okay, he had a, a strip fumble, right? Gets the ball knocked out of his hands. The guy is stepping over him. He grabs him by the foot, right? Proceeds to take his right leg and kick towards the guy's nuts. So he's holding on to that, he's got that, and he leg whips him, and alligator rolls. The guy hurts his ankle. No flag. No fine. Nothing. So that defensive end is like, uh, uh, you know, happy hunting guys. In other words, go after his ass. Anyway, you see the progression of, of Mac Jones. You know, Bill Belichick is that quarterback whisperer, and he figured, I'm going to go ahead and start the future now with him, and it seems to be working because they're only half a game behind uh, the Bills right now. But if you're Carolina, right now you're just trying to get a warm body out there, and I don't know that Cam Newton is going to be the long-term solution for them again. Um, Cam Newton is on the twilight of his career, but you know I'm happy that he's at least getting the opportunity, especially in a community that he has actually done a lot of stuff good-wise. You don't hear about it and all that, but Cam Newton has given back a lot to community. I've personally witnessed it myself uh, a number of years ago. So shout out to Cam Newton. Um, the thing that's interesting about his COVID stance, um, not getting the vaccine and the blowback that he got, it's kind of funny that Aaron Rodgers, who basically lied about his vaccination, still has a job. So, anyway, that's all I got to say on that one. 
it'll be interesting to see my cousin and see how he's doing with that Washington football team because he had so much hope going the season for Ryan Fitzpatrick, Fitzmagic, and that defense of Chase Young. <laughs> I'm Mark Holmes with Michael missing in action. I've been missing you. I know you have. Even though I've been in action, I've been missing you. You begin to treat me like my other sons do. Come on, man. And kids. All right, peace out.